Hello, welcome back to another episode of Challenger Life. In this episode, I wanted to talk about a specific area of mental health, which is of course men's mental health. Now, I was always under the impression that us men weren't able to deal with mental health issues that well and we, we struggled in certain areas talking about it and, and, and just, just generally dealing with it. However, doing my research and checking out the statistics, I was so shockingly surprised how bad we are at actually dealing with it. So, to, so today, I really wanted to go into a bit more depth into that and talk about some of the areas around mental health. So let's look at some of the statistics. There's a high probability that you, a member of your family, or one of your close friends will suffer some form of mental health condition. Almost three out of four suicides globally are men. And men under the age of 35 which is my age, age bracket, are particularly at risk of committing suicide. Now it's estimated that 90% of people who die or attempt suicide have one or more mental conditions. But it doesn't just affect morality rates. Your actual physical condition is severely affected. People with continual mental conditions will die a staggering 20 years younger than the average for the general population. The research also indicates that people who suffer from mental conditions will disproportionately have higher rates of physical illnesses. Now these statistics only really talk about the impact on the individual. It doesn't take into account the strain and suffering on family members, on friends, on partners. What do you think stops men from talking about mental health issues or dealing with mental health issues please leave your answers in the description below and we can maybe start a discussion on it because I'd love to get other people's point of view also so men what's going on why are we allowing the stigma of this thing to destroy and dictate our lives rip away our happiness and keep us in this state of sadness Believe me, I've been there myself. I have suffered in silence. I've been down dark roads mentally. I have allowed things to get on top of me. I have allowed the workings of my mind to work against me and to have a negative impact, not just a massive negative impact on myself, but also on people around me. And, you, and I could see it. But yet, I still didn't do anything to change my situation. For me, anyway, it was the feeling of unworthiness. If I went to talk about my problems, I was defeated. I had been defeated. I had lost. I wasn't man enough to take on what the world was throwing at me, so I allowed myself to utterly self-destruct inside. This is the thing. That stigma that is in your head, that has been put out throughout society, is in your head. The best thing I ever did was finally take the steps to ask for help. Probably one of the greatest decisions I've ever made in my life. I am a totally changed man from what I was a few years ago because I took those steps. We really need to break the stigma of mental health issues. That for me was a massive step in on the road to recovery. We have to have a massive societal rethink and how we deal with mental health issues. If I'm physically unhealthy, if I'm not looking after my body physically, I can take steps to change that. I can take steps to look after myself. I can eat better. I can start to exercise. I can, you know, there's so many things I can do in order to change that situation. This thing in our heads is probably the most important thing that we have. And yet, it is one of the least things that we take care of. We don't get enough sleep. We don't look after ourselves. We don't talk about things when they arise. We bottle it up. We suffer from anxiety. We suffer from depression. We suffer from such a plethora of things. And we don't take any steps to actually try to alleviate that. And there are small things that you can do to change your situation. You can connect with friends. You know, don't be afraid to meet up with a friend. Now, in Ireland in particular, we have uh, an issue with alcohol. It doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be anything. If you're feeling really bad, 
Meet somebody for a tea, meet somebody for a coffee, meet, go for a walk with somebody. Getting outside is an incredible way of alleviating any stresses, any depressions, any anxieties. You just get out there and you just, it just melts away. It's incredible how well getting outside can work. You know, if you go back hundreds of years, even thousands of years, people have always been in communities or societies or you go back even to the tribal stuff but this industrialized world has kind of segregated us all we've kind of lost the ability to find community and for me in my opinion i think that's a massive one get involved in community projects get involved in it could be volunteer work it could be anything give something of you back to society back to nature. If you're watching this and you're worried about a brother, a father, a friend, then don't be afraid. Connect with them. Always be on the lookout. Get them outside. Get them for a coffee. Bring them for a walk. Just do something in order to ask them the question. Now they might not want to talk about it, but the very fact that you have asked them to come with you, the fact that you've connected with them, shows that you care, and trust me, it means a lot, even though they're suffering with a battle that you can't see inside their own head. Men, the number one person that is going to help you through this is going to be yourself. You are the one who can drive that change and change your life for the better. It is totally okay not to feel okay, but it's also totally okay to go and ask for help. I know you might have that fear, but without fear you cannot have bravery. And taking those brave steps to actually go out and talk about it is one of the most courageous things. There are so many organizations that are out there that can help you. I will leave details in the description below for you to check out. So please, check that out. If you want to watch more of my content, hit that subscribe button. Also, don't be afraid to give us a like. That's all from me, men. Start taking care of yourselves, get rid of the stigma, ask for help, or help a fellow friend who may be struggling. Anyway, take care of yourselves, thanks for watching, okay, goodbye.